I was born with sickle cell anemia. I came here with like a lot of pain. Isabel, who's anemia? Well, what's that? Sickle cell anemia. Well, that's all easy, come on. <laughs> You ready? You ready? Yes, yes, please. Lift your hands to the Lord. <laughs> Power God's going through you. This is the lady's prayer helper's hand. Be healed. We command those spirits come out of your belly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I told you, come out. Be the glory. There it goes. For the things you have done. Just let me my life and let it be pleasing out all of you out I'm talking to you come out now you are going now now power God's going through you thank you Jesus you're free you're free sis Come on. Come on. Okay, press your belly. Did you have pain before? I did, yes. All right, press your belly. What's happening? I feel in pain for the You don't feel any pain? Not anymore. <laughs> God. These are tears of joy. Isn't Jesus good? Yes. What was wrong with you? Tell us once more. I was in pain my whole body for the last three days. I was in the emergency room yesterday. Nothing they could do could get the pain away. What was causing the pain? Oh, the sickle cell anemia. I haven't had pain like that since 2016. You are free of those spirits. Someone say, praise the Lord. Come on, sir. Come on. What do you say about this? You're crying. Praise the Lord. She was in so much pain. That's why she was crying. It's always a, like 11 out of 10 pain. And so for her to say she's not in pain, that's, that's a miracle. Come on, press hard. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Press hard. <laughs> There we push, push. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. We got another, I don't know, whatever you want to sing. I, I just feel like praising the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is so good, isn't he? Amen. Amen. God is good. Okay, keep medicating with the promises of God, all right? Amen. Sickle cell anemia is like a, a, a red blood cell disease. Basically, your body is not producing um, any healthy blood cells. Mm -hmm. um, and so it can essentially cause pain at any point, um, and it can happen. Any point. Any point. Any, any point time. of your body. Yeah, anywhere, anytime. Uh, there's no predicting it whatsoever, and you just kind of live with it. There's no cure. I was in and out of the hospital, especially as a child. I uh, spent uh, up to weeks at times, um, have to get uh, constantly on pain meds, opioids, and uh, get blood transfusions and things like that, like just to maintain a normal life, pretty much. That sounds like a life of suffering. It doesn't it's, sound like a great life. No. Blood transfusion, two weeks in hospital, opioids. 
What are you, high on doctor's medication? <laughs> I'm a walking pharmacy pretty much, so like, yeah. A walking pharmacy. <laughs> yeah. Last Thursday, um, when I started having pain all over my body and it was, it was everywhere. I went to the emergency, but because I'm, I'm actually expecting, and there's only so much they can do. Like, they don't want to harm the baby. I was just stuck in a lot of pain and I didn't want to miss the meeting. Um, we drove all the way here from Ottawa, the six hours in the car, and uh, I was like, I'm not going to miss this at all, so, <laughs> yeah. Because I think last night your husband said you were 11 out of 10 in pain. Yeah, it's really, really intolerable, unbearable, and it's just, there's no painkillers I can take that is high enough or even safe really to take it away. So last night, I, I was like, this is it. I know something's gonna happen. I know God is in the room and I know he's gonna touch me and I didn't come all the way here. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was just praying, praying and I was in pain, but I was praying and I believing. And I'm like, God, I know you're here and I know you're gonna touch me. And you were making your way through the rows and I could like, literally feel the power of God and I was just waiting for my turn and you came and you grabbed me <laughs> and you just prayed over me and then I don't even know what happened. I just kind of fell over and I started like laughing and I, like there was no worries, there was no weight, there was no nothing. So I, I don't know what happened, but God did something for sure. Uh, shall I tell you what happened? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, well, I, I share things like this for our edification, mm -hmm. right? So the doctors do their part and they say you've got sickle cell. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but first of all, when I came up to you, mm -hmm. I felt joy. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're in pain, but I feel joy because I know what's going to happen. Because he, he turns our sorrow into dancing. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Right? Amen. So I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a nest of snakes. And you pass out, but we cast out the snakes. And when they were gone, your pain was gone. She's, she's crying here. Tears of joy, huh? Amen. Yes. What would you like to say to Jesus? Oh, my God. I, I have no words. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. Just thank you. So, Isabel... Someone's looking with sickle cell anemia. They're in hospital, they're in pain, they're on drugs. You know what it's like. You have a word of hope. You talk to them. God is real, God is good and he's faithful and he will always, always come through and he is the answer. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Hallelujah. Who healed you? Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you both.